Hi everybody, who's ready to do a little meditative art? We're gonna do a little painting. We're gonna take some time to relax and enjoy the process. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do. It's gonna be pretty simple things that you can hopefully find around your house. We've got um, a little watercolor paint and some good heavy duty paper, something that can absorb the water, okay? and then some painter's tape or masking tape. I'm gonna turn my camera around. I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so here's the paper I used and the masking tape. Got my watercolors. And then what we're gonna do, again, have a nice calm body and take the masking tape and you're gonna take off strips of the tape and tear them and put them onto the paper. First, I tape the paper down all the way around. I'm using a cookie sheet or sheet pan to be able to hold that down. And then that way we don't have a big mess everywhere. Keeps it kind of contained. Got my little cup of water there. And what you'll do is cut off your strips or tear your strips and just put them down all over your paper in any kind of random pattern. You can make stripes going in one direction or another if you'd like. You can make it to where they overlap each other a lot and create kind of a diamond pattern. So you can do a lot of really fun things. And then once you have your paper ready and all your shapes ready to go, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come back and you can fill in all these little areas with some color. Now you can do this, I'm doing this with watercolor. You can use crayons, you can use colored pencils. Whatever it is that you have, you can use markers if you'd like. You're just gonna come back in and be able to fill in the different shapes all along the whole paper. And then once we get this completely filled and once it's dry, We'll go back and we will take all the tape off and it'll make really neat patterns because it's going to be, there'll be white space wherever that tape is. So I want you to just take the time to relax and enjoy the process. Because I'm using watercolor, it will go relatively quickly. If you're using colored pencils, it might take a little longer to fill in. I'm gonna add a little extra, like some orange in here with the yellow, so it's not just, oh, that one became pretty much orange. <laughs> I don't think my camera is picking up the color as true and as pretty as it is, but add a little red maybe in there too. Alright, and then we're just going to keep keep going, just filling in all the squares, all the diamonds, triangles, whatever shape it is that we've created. You might even add a couple different colors within your shape. The fun part's really gonna come when we remove the tape and see what's underneath. You'll see the, the white space and then the colored spots. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Just get creative with it. Pick whatever colors you really love. I'm kind of doing random colors myself. But you might decide that you want all rainbow of colors all over your whole page, and then you might decide that you wanna just stick to two or three colors on the whole thing. This is yours to play with and enjoy.
like I said, even like I just added a couple of different colors within that, that shape. This might dry relatively quick. I'm gonna actually spread that out a little more. And add a little yellow. And with that, let's see what happens when that dries. Like I said, a lot of the experience of this is going to be just kind of enjoying, relaxing, adding the different colors, just kind of see what comes out for you. It doesn't have to be any specific design, just whatever, whatever feels right at that moment. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry. And then once this is dry, oh, I missed a square. You guys gotta tell me. You let me you let me miss that one. <laughs> Can't let that happen, right? We gotta fill this in with something here. Alright. Almost forgot that, that little space right there. Alright, I'm gonna let this dry. And then after it's dry, we'll come back and we will peel the tape off and then see what it looks like underneath. Okay? All right. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. Well, here we are. The painting is dry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and I'm going to peel off all the pieces of tape and then we're going to see the picture revealed underneath. I will be back with the finished product. Okay, here it is with all the tape taken off. I don't know about you, but it was pretty satisfying to peel each piece off and reveal the picture as it developed underneath. It's really neat seeing all these pure white lines in between with all the bright colors. I think I might even come back with an ink pen and draw some black outlines around. Pretty much just do whatever you want. You could leave it the way it is. Just get creative. Have fun could even maybe turn it one way or another. I don't know which way is actually up. So it's a lot of fun. Just enjoy, have some fun, play with it, maybe make a few of these. Put tape in all sorts of different designs. You might be able to create a letter, maybe do the your first letter of your name um, or the last, your last name, the first initial. Um, get really creative. You can have a lot of fun just playing around with a little bit of paper, some tape, and some watercolor. All right, until next time. Bye, you guys.